Okay. Tiny little midget men, get out of here. Like, they're so fast, it's not even funny. Like, the, 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 the camera just moves too slow for you to... Buddy Collector Kel, or sorry, that's my other YouTube channel, um, Nostalgia Scott, coming to you guys with part 19 of Spyro Heroes Tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, we made it here to Stormy Beach in the last episode, and I completely forgot what my controls were in this game, so yay. That's what I get for not playing this game for like two days or three days, whatever it was, and then coming, and then the last games I've been playing, or the other Spyro games, all with the regular control scheme. So, we should go over, um, what there are here. There's two light gems, two eggs, and one dark gem. What? That's it? There's only... Oh, I hear money bag. I do want to get this, uh, egg thief, though, first. Before we do anything, because it's, what, one of two eggs? Oh, that's that's just weird. Also, I don't like how they do the the egg thieves in this game because they like randomly gain or lose momentum. It's not that difficult. It's just weird. And random dark gem shards. All right. Um. Yeah. So I don't know what's gonna really happen here. This also seems like a really weird zone. Like looking at this, it doesn't really scream final zone of the game. The music is pretty catchy, not gonna lie there, but it's just... Yeah, and I think the only item we can get here is the... Ice Bomb, right? Feel free to browse my fine wares. Or Ice Missile. Wait, what does it say? It's just a secondary fire. It doesn't even, like, say what it does. It's just a secondary fire. Which is fine. I guess, that's cool. There's lots of health around here, but I haven't seen a single enemy yet. Is this area supposed to be challenging or not? Because I'm running into a very big lack of, like, anything. This zone just feels empty and... Oh, don't tell me these... This this rocket here is going to be what detonates those metal crates over... Oh, there's upper platforms. Wow. And we already have, what, one of two eggs? Yeah, and there's only one dark gem and two light crystals. And I'm assuming the light crystals would be that platform that we had seen, those, like, platforms up above. Oh, I can't jump up on that. I hate when levels do that, where it's just... You gotta take the long way around, even though there's no warranted reason. We almost have 30k gems. Despite... Like, when I, I swore when I used to play this game... Also, you can walk up that. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. So, the platforms are right here, and they're, like, floating tarps. Okay, can these platforms move, please? Wait. Exactly where do they go? Oh. This is just weird. Like, they're not even really difficult platforms are just kind of odd and I don't think they're actually for anything are they they also look like they're missing textures just because of the way they look oh no I think that's a canon mini game I'm not looking forward to more canon mini games don't tell me this is where the the last of the collectibles are in this zone it's just right here watch this be the light gem That's fine. Hello, Mr. Walrus. <laughs> oh no! Norks are storming the beach! You have to stop them. There's a reward in it for you. <laughs> Will you help defend the realm? Um, sure, Wally the Walrus. What a creative name. Just saying. Oh, it's square. Okay, so... 
This one's a different kind of uh, mini game because it's a specific amount of enemies, which is interesting to say the least. Wait, I hear some getting past me somehow. No. Well, that one got past me because this game is fun. This is just not fun, man. There's so many norks, it's not even funny. Can I have, like, rapid fire on this thing, please? Or, like, faster camera? So many of these dudes, it's not even funny. Especially those little guys, because their hitboxes are extra tiny. Okay. L at least you have a lot of room for failure. Well, thank you for the reward, buddy. Mm, not bad. Could have done better myself. However, it seems there are slow words. <laughs> if, if, if you're successful again, I will reward you with a light gem. Oh, yay. Thank you for calling me bad. I love walruses, you know? They're, they're, so, they're so nice and friendly. So, 75 now. Okay, so... Essentially the same thing again, which is fine. I love how it like starts off so slow and then just abruptly like ends up like a hellhole here, man. Like this is crazy. Like what is this? This is like the whole Nork army here. Also, is this the first canon minigame with the actual Norks though? Oh no, I let a little guy get past me. Ooh, we have a lot less room for failure now. And there's a lot more of the small ones, so the tiny hitbox guys are back. Wait, how did I hit that guy, though? That was weird. Okay. Tiny little midget men, get out of here. Like, they're so fast, it's not even funny. Like, the, 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 the camera just moves too slow for you to... Like, successfully hit everybody. Just hurry up and end, please. Oh, thank god. It took about the same amount of time. I don't like the canon minigames, but I believe that's the last canon minigame in the entire game. So, woohoo, we're done. Good show. Almost as good as me. <laughs> I'm sure they will be back. You can defend the realm anytime you like. But, uh, I have no reward. This will just be for practice. <laughs> Why do you go Okay, so there's one more light gem around here, so that's the thing. Also, how come I didn't destroy this one singular basket? I guess it was just quick and eager to get rid of that stupid minigame. Oh yeah, the water. You know, the least used mechanic in this entire game is the water. Like, even in... Uh, the world that had a lot more water like you didn't really use it that much also you know what I've noticed remember when we unlocked the invincibility uh, power up also why are the gems on the water I hate that that was an issue too in the um, reignited trilogy because the game was rushed Wait, isn't this just the professor right here it is just the professor's thing right here um, is this the only way we can go though we can actually go all the way back there so, is there anything back here exactly, or is this just... Oh, I really don't think there is. Wait a second, hang on. Let me look at that. That way clearly leads to the next area, so this area over here has to be the uh, last light gem, right? Because we already got both eggs, and... Oh, great, more of these stupid bear traps. See what I mean? Like, wait a second, I wonder, can we use the ice breath on it? I did that again. Oh, you can. Alright, so I think I prefer the Ice Breath on these, because then you can just, like, mass kill them and then do that. Or mass freeze them and then kill them all. Not mass kill them. Yeah, we're going to be at 30,000 gems probably by the end of this hallway, right? Okay, maybe not. Alright, so there's another boat here. Like, destroyed boat. The boats actually don't do anything, but... 
Really, there's no big reason to go into the water. Also, the Nurks finally have their armor. Uh, oh! Remember when I was, like, wondering it back in the, uh, Ice Citadel episode? If, like, the enemies had respawned in afterward? That's because they do. Also, does, does that go through armor by chance? Also, is this the last light gem? No, we need to go back for a key, which is annoying, but kind of explanatory. I forgot. Oh, come on, man. Can you guys stop spawning in? Stop spawning in. How many times do you guys have to spawn in here? Oh, great. Another chest. But judging by the fact that this one has a ton of enemies around it, unlike the last few... I'm assuming these will be... this will actually be something useful. Like the last light gem, maybe? Nope. As if I needed more gems, game. But if they're gonna keep making us buy keys, then I can see why they would give us so many uh, light gems. Or light gems, just regular gems. Yeah. Alright, and that brings that back up. I'm gonna switch back to the ice breath, because the ice breath, let's be real, seems to be super useful. Ooh, there was a weird divot in the ground there. That was weird and janky. Fun. Oh yeah, look at all those gems, man. We're almost at 32,000 already. We need to go back and buy keys, though, and sadly we can't uh, just... Oh, there's gonna spawn more. Oh, you're way far away. These guys are worth gems, so at least they're worth something. Also, how much of this have we explored? Like I said, this is just all this area is, is just this room. And we know there's no mini game here because then that would be more collectibles than we have. Also, is this even anything? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Oh wait, we can destroy these barrels. I didn't even know that. These are all destructible items. I didn't jump over top of them because I didn't see the target. Also, there's a cave here. Wait, this is just back, so while we go back, I'm gonna go grab some more keys. And maybe some health, because we need some health. A lot of the hits that you take in this game aren't even because of, like, skill, it's just because it's so awkward because of the angling of everything. We're also still missing the dark gem, but I have a feeling that the dark gem is gonna be at the very end of that hallway up there. Where... Wait, did I hear an enemy? I swear I heard a narco... Could just be the music in the background. Or the fact that I've heard them make so many sounds this episode that I'm just used to hearing them. Oh, I thought maybe you could destroy that bear. Get off that. Hmm. I don't remember this zone being so barren. Like, it just feels empty, you know? Like, there's very few enemies, and when you do fight them, they're, they're all clustered together. And on top of that, that even that cannon minigame was by far the easiest one, because in the other ones, you know, maybe ten enemies get to you or whatever and you lose. This one was just, you generally can kill them faster than they can do anything to you. So we need to go this way, it looks like. Like over yonder? Yeah, this way. It's weird, because you can't actually discover the entire map here because of the fact that um, it's walled off, which is really weird. I really don't think there's anything up on any of these things. I just... Oh, wait a minute. I see that up there. That's got to be the light gym up there somewhere. No way they'll have a parkour session just for something like gems, right? That would just be dirty. Yeah, there's the last light gem. Boom. Zone 100% complete. I believe this is one of the only zones that we've actually 100%ed. And there's only, what, 80 light gems in this game? I think? Is there 80 light gems or is there more? Because if there's only 80, then we've essentially, like... How did you not grab onto that ledge? We've essentially completed the zone, or the most of the game. Also, I really find it funny how like the power-ups that you unlock in this game, like through uh, the professor, 
are very gonna like hit or miss because like we had to do all that work for like invincibility and everything just to use it once and that's it i think we have to go up there right yeah we have to go up here since we have to do some platforming 14 minutes and i feel like we've barely done anything yet at the same time we've also completed an entire zone in this game which is something that can't be said for doing 14 minutes of recording in this game so can I not hop up there like that oh I can that, that was just weird which means the dark gem has to be over here because there was no way there were dark gem anywhere oh thank god I was like don't don't let me fall down there I believe we're going to the mines I do have ice breath on right okay I do have ice breath on and we know for a fact that that isn't one of the collectible items. So this is going to be gems, or like missiles, or bombs, or... Yeah, just gems. Kind of assumed as much. Whoa, there is... You can hear these crystals too, because they kind of hum. Goodbye, sir. Wow, that is some great texturing here, guys. I feel like they got lazy with the textures, so they just used tarps for everything. Ooh, lava. Also, we haven't really had to use our ice breath yet. Like, I've been... Also, that's our first checkpoint, so that's something, I guess. You know, I'm fire in the hole. Wait, did it seriously... Did the game really go... Oh, yeah, just right around here. You did all that... Like, you did that huge cutscene for something that simple. Also... Oh, that is this rotten game. Are you serious? Oh my god, that... Oh, and this is water deep enough to swim in, but not dive in. Hello, little guy. How are you today? If you just kind of wait patiently for them, they'll, uh... Just give up hope and then not fire at you. I did see something over there though, so hopefully. Actually, I didn't check the map here. Oh, it's literally just one pathway, so. There is no worry about going a secret pathway. Wall jump though. That's another thing. Wall jump hasn't been very useful either. Also, why does that look like it's a comic book style artwork? just looks weird. Oh, I see the dark gem over there. The dark gem is exactly where I thought we'd have to go. Oh, I don't, never mind. That's not the dark gem. That's just, uh, more cartoony poo. Oh, I see. These are poles. I don't think he can hit me, can he? I'd be upset if he could hit me. Wait, why am I doing all this anyway? Are you serious? Wait, but that's nothing. We already have all the collectibles, so why am I bothering with that? Sometimes I really question, like, what the game is making you think you're doing, because we don't need to do with, deal with any of that. Also, I didn't get any gems from him, so they're still on the ground. I will go back for them, though, because I have a feeling we're going to be wasting a lot of keys in hopes that we find stuff, so that's a thing. There's the dark gem, right there at the very end, and that looks like a... Can't tell if it's supposed to be like a dragon head or a demon head. But we'll smash this dark gem and see what it does. Alright, it dropped some stalactites into the lava here so we can go and hop across. Alright, I think this is the mine, right? Because I do believe one of the last levels in the game is the mine. Also, does ice? Ice doesn't work on metal. Even, I guess, technically it doesn't in real life, so... Also, there's a save point here, but it didn't say that we're in a new zone yet, so... Oh, this doesn't look like a mine at all. Where the heck are we? There's phoenixes, which I do believe... require you to use the ice breath on them. Alright, I think I timed that way too late, but nope, never mind. Almost too late, but we did it anyway. Is this still the same zone? 
No, this is Molten Mount. Which has three dark gems, five eggs, and six... Wow, there's actually very few collectibles in this part of the game. Just saying. Oh god, there's imp dudes now. Wait a second. That looks... That doesn't look like an enemy over there. That looks like... It's another fox. Okay, what are with the foxes and who are they? Oh, never mind. It's a hyena. No, oh, we have to talk to them. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Those rock monsters burned down my house. <laughs> I'm actually quite sad. <laughs> it's just that I'm a laughing hyena. <laughs> Get rid of those <laughs> rock monsters. <laughs> Okay, I'm dumbstruck. What the heck was I just listening to? That is definitely going to be the opening to this video, that's for sure. I'd probably end the video here naturally, but I don't know. I kind of feel like playing more. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this uh, episode. It hasn't been anything fancy, but it's been fun. Destroyed Village. Oh, there's four rock monsters, okay. Uh... Oh, okay, so they're... Essentially, the Earth Shapers from Spyro 2. But unlike Spyro 2, and, well, any of the three Spyro games, is you could technically... Um, just keep charging them. Which is something that I'm not... Oh. Okay, and they can swing upward. There's something that this game does that other Spar games didn't do. You can't stun lock enemy. Oh, come off it, game, really? Oh, and he's still he's still got one more hit in him. It's also hard to tell how close you can get to certain enemies before they, you know, kill you. Also, let me. I'm just kind of glad we got the shockwave. That way, getting gems takes way less time. Also, I'm glad the ice breath. Oh, there's a dark gem over there. And all the rock monsters are literally here in one spot, which is super useful. Now, can you grab that other butterfly? Thank you. I don't know why you just refused to eat that one. Ugh. Oh, come on, game. Like, sometimes they just swing way too quickly. If you can get them, like, like in a lockout like this, then it's not too bad, but... I think one more hit, right? Thank you, you're dead. Now let me grab this dark gem while I'm here, because this technically I think will trigger a save point. So this is the first of what? Three or four here? Boom. Oh, we opened up quite a big pathway. That actually looked pretty cool, the outline that they had on it. Sharp as heck. And then we have to destroy nine fire imp dudes. Yeah, there's only three here. And the last rock monster's over here, which I'm assuming will be worth a light gem and not an egg. Wait, I didn't even get time to react to you that time. What the heck was that? Also, once again... Do they just get progressively stronger or something? Or are they just random? And there we go, now we have the fire imp thing. So let's go back to the hyena there. What was her name again? I don't recall what her name was, but there she is. Also, why did I just stop charging? That one's awkward. To say the least. Also, I hate that, like, when you're charging and you jump, you just lose all momentum. Oh god, it's still laughing. Yeah, here, we stopped them all. Hello. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Take this dragon egg! I can't keep it! Those monsters destroyed the house! I get my stuff in! <laughs> That's so dark if you think about it. Oh, it's one of the turret mini games. Interesting. All right, so before we take that out of the pathway, I kind of want to just go around and yeah, we want to go that way. So this way, right? I think. Wait a minute. No, that's the dark gym over there, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that was the dark gem, the, the path of the north. So we'll go deal with those fire imps, and then we'll probably call that an episode, right? Oh, there is... Some kind of warlock dude over here? Whoa, okay. So, I still know who these guys are that keep summoning all these enemies. Hey, there's a flame egg, just that kind of is actually fitting if you think about it. And he'll just disappear again. Oh, they do. Hey. It's Sergeant Bird. Oh, I know what we're doing. The last Sergeant Bird in next episode. Anyways, I wanted to see. No, I click. Destroy all dark gems, climb the volcano to get the access to the inside. Um, I wanted to go here. Well, yeah, we're only missing two of these, two of these, two of these. And yeah, that was, um, that was a Sparks minigame. Where's the turret one? These ones are the turret. So we'll get one more Sergeant Bird here. So it looks like you get to about eight of each one. Okay, right, so it looks like we still need... Oh, there's the last ones. Wait, what? Wait, what? That is really dumb logic. Like I said, we're still gonna do this, but the fact that they were able to like... Oh, and you have to kill them all again every time. Oof. Just big oof. Like a big egg, you know? Big oof. Can you not hit me like that, please? I do not appreciate the game being a troll like that. Hey. Are you serious? I fell down. Like, I don't even think this is supposed to be difficult. The game is just like, oh, yeah, no. We'll make their hitbox really weird and only make some of them attack you. I don't even know if this is technically worth anything if you think about it, because there was an egg right there, and then there's a Sergeant Bird minigame right there, which will be worth two more collectibles. So, those are those collectibles down. See, like, I don't get, like, what determines if these guys actually physically attack you or not. And I don't actually know how I hit him. So, what I'm gonna do, though, is I'm definitely gonna wait till this is closer, because if we jump too close, There we go. I don't know what was with the, the camera there, but... And that was it. There was literally nothing to it. I wonder if this will just be gems, then. Oh, no! Okay. I guess technically that's your reward. 69. Nice. Um, let's see. We still have five more to go, which... We'll be up to three eggs and two light gems after this. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and join the Discord and the Patreon in the link below. And I'll see you guys next time when we deal with Sergeant Bird. Some of your guys' favorite sections, actually. They get the most views.